Senna is a laxative medication that's used very frequently in clinical practice, but is also in many countries around the world, including the United Kingdom, available as an over-the-counter medication. It is derived from a plant called the Senna plant, and each tablet of Senna contains 7.5 milligrams of the active ingredient, which is Senna-sides. It should be used ideally only as an as-required medicine, so as a PRN medicine, rather than a regular I-take-this-every-day medication. And it can be taken multiple times a day if necessary. However, again, it should ideally only be taken once a day. So the usual dose is to take 15 milligrams or two Senna tablets when required to relieve constipation. However, if 15 milligrams isn't enough, if that isn't doing the trick, then larger doses can be used. So 30 milligrams or four Senna tablets can be taken in a single dose to relieve constipation. Finally, in clinical practice, we do even use larger doses. So we use a dose of 60 milligrams, which is eight Senna tablets to prepare people for endoscopic bowel procedures. So say someone is having a flexible sigmoidoscopy, which is a camera up the back passage to examine the sigmoid colon, which is one of the final portions of the colon. To prepare someone for this procedure, obviously, in order for the camera to be able to see anything, that portion of the bowel needs to be empty. So what we do is, from the afternoon, the day before the procedure is going to be done, we stop the person from eating anything further, and we then need to clear out the contents that's already there, so we give them a dose of Senna, which, as we'll discuss later, is a stimulant laxative, and the dose that we give them is actually 60 milligrams. Uh, so they take that the afternoon prior. It works uh, over the subsequent hours. It takes quite a while to work, usually about 10 hours. We'll discuss why in just a moment. Um, but it helps to clear all the contents from the, the colon that is already there. And then just prior to the procedure, they usually have an enema on top of the uh, stimulant laxative given the day before, and that ensures that the sigmoid colon is completely clear for when they want to perform the procedure. So doses of 60 milligrams are used clinically. I have never seen doses higher than 60 milligrams be given before, and if you're going to take multiple daily smaller doses of Senna, I would not let the cumulative dose exceed 60 milligrams in a 24-hour period. So I would not take more than eight of these tablets within a 24-hour period. You will regret it. It's a stimulant laxative. It irritates the colon. That's the way that it works. And it can cause a lot of abdominal pain and even colonic cramps, which are very painful. So let's discuss that further. So Senna is a stimulant laxative. So the tablets are taken orally, they go through the stomach, they go through the small bowel, and they do not actually irritate and stimulate the stomach or irritate and stimulate the small bowel. And the reason for that is that they are not activated into the active form until they get to the colon. So once the active ingredient finally arrives into the colon, it gets activated into the form where it can irritate the wall of the bowel. It then proceeds to irritate the wall of the colon and thereby increases colonic motility. Increased colonic motility is going to result in the luminal contents of the colon being moved through the colon quicker and therefore is going to result in quicker defecation. And if contents is moving quicker through the colon, there's less time for absorption of water and therefore the contents that is going to be uh, passed is going to be more liquidy. Note that it takes time for this medicine to have an effect. So it's going to be taken orally, it will go into the stomach, it has to move through the stomach, move through the small bowel, get into the colon and be activated into the active form once it reaches the colon. That takes time, usually around 10 hours. So you're not actually going to experience any of the effects of this medicine until at least 10 hours after actually taking it. A lot of people have this preconception about laxatives that they are taken and then they have an immediate effect. So after 10 minutes of taking them, you'll be rushing to the toilet. That's certainly not the case for Senna. It takes at least 10 hours for it to actually take any effect. And for those first 10 hours, you won't feel any difference whatsoever. 
Whilst senna is a very effective laxative, it's not a particularly popular laxative among the people who actually are given it. It's not a medication that people take and say, wow, that's lovely, that's made me feel so great, please give me some more. Um, and the reason for that is, one, it doesn't taste particularly nice. Remember, it comes from this plant, the senna plant, and the tablets themselves taste like that plant. Um, so it tastes kind of like a weird herbal tea. So unless you like that flavour, which most people don't, uh, you're not going to enjoy the sensation of taking the tablet. In addition, because it works as a stimulant laxative and works by irritating the wall of the colon and increasing chronic motility, it can cause quite a lot of pain once it actually starts to take effect. So after 10 hours of taking it, when it's actually stimulating the colon, you can get quite a lot of crampy abdominal pains from the increased motility that it's driving. And that's why really you only want to be using this medicine as required to relieve constipation rather than taking it on a daily basis. It's a laxative that we use a lot in hospital, especially when we have patients on opiates. So I work in orthopaedics at the moment, and a lot of the patients are on opiates to relieve the pain of their broken bones and post-operative pain. Opiates inhibit GI motility, and therefore one of their major side effects is that they can lead to very bad constipation. To try to relieve this, one of the things that we do do is we put them on daily senna whilst they're going to be on the high strength opiates. So usually we put them on 50 milligram once a day and we usually get them to take it just before they go to bed on the grounds that it's going to then take 10 hours to get actually into the colon, into its active form. In that 10 hours they can happily be asleep. And then by the time it actually takes effect and they're going to be needing to go to the toilet, it'll be the next morning and they'll be awake again. And we do that to try to prevent them needing to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. But we're only prescribing them daily senna for a short term period whilst they're on the high strength opiates. Once they come off the high strength opiates, then we'll stop the daily senna medication as well. As I've said multiple times throughout the video, ideally it's not a medicine that you want to be taking regularly on a daily basis for a long period of time. If someone has chronic constipation, uh, ideally that should be treated firstly by increasing dietary fibre intake, both soluble and insoluble fibre. And if that doesn't work, then adding a fibre supplement laxative such as Ispagula husk fibre gel you ideally don't want to be putting them on a daily stimulant laxative. If, however, you cannot get on top of their constipation, it might be something that they do end up having to take. And you do see people take with daily prescriptions of Senna, uh, and sometimes it is necessary.